So tell me about the 1X Plus. All right, so this is the HTC One X Plus. Really excited. This is kind of the next generation HTC One X. Uh, so first thing that you're going to notice is the color difference. So where the One X was available in a, uh, a gray color and a white color, this one's only offered in graphite black. So pretty exciting. Uh, kind of like a murdered out black. Pretty cool. We've got Beats Audio in here. One of the exciting things about here is we've got a dedicated amplifier for the rear speaker. Not for the headset jack, but just for the rear speaker. So speaker phone calls, listening to music is going to be really nice on this. Um, this device currently is running Jelly Bean with set 4.5 or 4 Plus, uh, which is really exciting. Some of the simple things that not many people notice is we've really tried to minimize the textures of the buttons and the screens and within the application. So really just tried to simplify it to make it clean and easy and fast. Um, we've also brought a couple of cool new camera features. So you'll notice that we launched the camera. The actual buttons here on the right-hand side, we've increased the size of the camera the capture button and decrease the size of the camcorder button to make it easier for people to tap the one that they want. We also noticed that when people hand it to somebody, sometimes they tap the wrong button. We've got a couple of new buttons over here on the right hand side. So you can see we can easily swap from front to rear facing camera. And then down here, the scenes button, rather than having the A for auto, we now have a camera button. We've also uh, minimized the scenes menu. So the most commonly used scenes are HDR panorama. We also have group portrait down here. Group portrait is something that people didn't really know about, but once they figured out what it was, they thought it was cool. So a group portrait, what it does is using the facial recognition, it can take five photos and blend them together to give you the most smiles and the least blinks. You also can tap on scene selection and get all the additional scenes. We've got some new ones. We've got backlight now, not to be confused with HDR, pretty neat. We also have a night scene, so increased ISO, longer shutter time. We changed the name of whiteboard to text because we found that people weren't using it if they weren't taking a picture of a whiteboard. Now with text, people are taking pictures of magazines and things like that. You still got the macro, which is very nice, portrait and landscape. We've got a new feature on here when you go to the front facing camera. When you tap on it, it starts a step countdown timer and takes the photo for you. So what we found is that a lot of people weren't able to get that good shot because they were too busy tapping the button. So now with auto portrait mode, it makes it easy to take pictures. We also have a new mode that we're bringing in with four, four uh, plus. So now when you're in the camera taking photos and you put it in standby, say you're walking around a park or an event, you want to go back to your camera, by tapping this one time, it launches the camera back directly. So bypassing the lock screen, making it quicker for you to get in and get those pictures. Now, if you have a lock screen password, you cannot take advantage of this feature. But again, if you're in the camera and you turn it off, once you tap it again, it launches the camera directly. So pretty exciting. Is the Jelly Bean Android 4.1? Okay. It is, yes, it is running Jelly Bean with uh, Sense 4 Plus. So pretty exciting. The device does have NFC. We've increased the battery size. We've gone up to 2100 milliamps, which is going to give you almost 50% better battery life than what people had with the One X, which is really exciting. You'll notice the N up here, that's NFC. Just like the One X, we have NFC in this device. It's pretty cool. This device has a full gig of RAM, and it's also got NVIDIA's new 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor. So we've got a couple of really cool games in here. Um, these are all Tegra 3 uh, games. This is a pretty cool one. It'll check for an update really quick. But this game right here, Mass Bounce Effect, you put in headphones, and it's absolutely amazing. But with Tegra 3, you're going to have one of the most immersive, amazing uh, video gaming experiences on mobile devices. So that's pretty exciting. It's got a 720p screen, just like the One X, uh, but it's a Super LCD 2 and Gorilla Glass 2. So let's go in here and click on play. You'll notice here that the graphics are blazing fast. Like everything you do on this thing is really, really quick and active. Literally playing upside down. Just saying that's the challenge. Yeah, but you can see, I mean, everything renders as fast as you can go. So pretty cool there. So One X Plus coming soon to AT&T, at least in time for the holiday season. One of a bunch of devices announced, not just from HTC, but a lot of people at ATT's Unwrapped event in New York City. You can watch on phonedog.com for continuing coverage of AT&T's event in the Big Apple. I'll see you next time.